All right, welcome back everyone. It's so high here and in this video we are back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide and this will be showing you guys how to get the Legendary COV Assault Rifle Zytev's Eruption. I think I said that right. I hope I said that right. Red text reads pain and misery erupt in the void plus 26% weapon damage plus 10% critical hit damage 1.8 times weapon zoom. Damage is 14,479, accuracy is 67%, handling is 58%, repair time is 4.3 seconds, fire rate is 8.92 a second with an 89 shots to break. This one here deals non-elemental damage, but you can actually get this weapon in any element, including like you, I have here, non-elemental damage. Now, in order to get this weapon, you're going to want to make your way to Conrad's Hold and then make your way into the Slaughter Shaft. Now, once you actually discover the Slaughter Shaft, you'll be able to just fast travel there. I do show you right here on the map where the Slaughter Shaft is located in Conrad's Hold. Once you get there, run in here, talk to this guy, and start the Slaughter Shaft. The Slaughter Shaft is basically a, a circle of slaughter that you can do here in Borderlands 3. You'll have different waves of enemies in each round. And basically what you're going to have to do is complete all of the rounds until you get to the final one. And you will face this guy right here. It's, his name is Titan. And you're just going to want to kill him and hope you get this AR to drop. Also, I do want to mention that you will need to be on Mayhem Mode 4 or higher in order to get this weapon to drop. Make sure you are on Mayhem Mode 4 or higher. That's the only way this AR is going to drop for you. Uh, and like I mentioned, you do have to do that whole circle of slaughter. Lucky for me, I actually got this thing on my very first run of it. But just like I had in the last guide video with the Lauda, I had to do a circle of slaughter for that one. It took me 21s and my 21 runs, and my video ended up corrupting. That's why you didn't get to see the actual drop in that video. But you do get to see the actual drop in this one. All right, so now let's talk about exactly what this weapon does. Basically, what happens whenever you go to repair the weapon when the weapon overheats, this weapon will shoot out eight projectiles that will go out and hit enemies, and it will apply a debuff effect to them. I will get into more exactly what the numbers are on that, but at first, let's get into actually seeing this debuff effect in action since you can't really tell what's going on here in the gameplay. So as you can see right here, we're going to make our way down here to this little guy right here. His name is Kevin. And you can actually put debuffs and stuff on him and be able to not actually kill him. So as you can see here, I'm going to make the weapon reload. And after the it breaks, and you're going to see here, there's this red effect on Kevin. And I'm dealing more damage. You can see the damage numbers right there. You, you could be able to see it more clearly here in just a second after I break the weapon again. You see here we get the debuff. It's like a little red kind of particle effect. And you can see 750k, 217,000, 334,000 damage with this weapon. Now I'm going to run back upstairs really quickly and shoot the practice dummy who does not have the effect. And you see how much damage we're going to be getting here. 71k, 74k around in there. So you can definitely tell that we got more damage added at with that debuff effect. All right, so now let's get into a little bit more about what these projectiles actually do. So you'll launch eight projectiles whenever you go to repair your weapon. Those projectiles will deal whatever element you have on your weapon. For example, here I deal non-elemental damage with this weapon. So the projectiles I launch will deal non-elemental damage. And it will also deal splash damage on impact and will also apply the debuff. Now the debuff is plus 20% from all sources for 6 seconds. So for 6 full seconds you'll get plus 20% damage for, from all sources, not just the assault rifle. Now the other thing you can do is that the homing projectiles can stack on an enemy. And you can stack up to 10 times on a single enemy which will total plus 200% extra damage. So that's the really cool thing. If you can actually pull it off to where uh, I, have, I have a really cool concept that maybe you can kind of cancel the repair of the weapon and then make it repair again. If you can figure out some way to do that, you can actually stack multiple debuffs on a specific enemy and you can stack up to 10 on a single enemy. You stack up to 10 on an enemy, you'll get plus 200% damage. 
So this weapon by itself with just a plus 20% isn't bad, but if you can get multiple stacks of these projectiles on a single enemy at a time, you can really deal some very solid damage with this weapon. But without those debuffs, this weapon can kind of struggle a little bit. You really have to rely on those debuffs a lot. For that reason, I'm going to throw this weapon in B tier. Now, you might have a build out there where this weapon can be really good in, and that's why I'm going to throw it in there. It can be very build dependent, in my opinion, and is very dependent on its projectiles as well. But it can be a very solid weapon, and I've had fun using it personally. Drop down in the comment section if you enjoy using this weapon or not. That's pretty much all I had in this video, guys. Feel free to drop a like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.